Nike has brought back a rare dunk so old it predates even the first SB version of the sneaker. Originally released back in 1999 as a Japan exclusive, Nike is finally bringing back the Dunk Low Dark Curry for its 25th anniversary. What's up, y'all? It's Daniel, your Shumalier, and as a longtime fan and former student of the University of Texas, you quickly find that not only is burnt orange hard to put a fit together, you're kind of limited to, well, khaki or black, maybe gray, blue jeans, and white, of course, but you'll also find that it's hard to actually match all of the burnt oranges. Yes, it is a striking color. It is a unique color, and for some, it's an ugly color. And there is an official Pantone hex whatever you want to call it, color number index for burnt orange. But for some reason, it just seems that whether it's shirts or hoodies or hats or yes, in shoes, well, you're going to find dozens, if not hundreds of different iterations of shades of burnt orange. And when a shoe comes out that features somewhat of a burnt orange colorway, and it's Nike because, well, I don't like to cross brand. I definitely go, that's probably going to be a UT shoe. And with this dark curry Nike Dunk Low, well, it has to be because it gives off major UT vibes. In fact, many a friend has texted me and said, you're getting this shoe, aren't you? And absolutely I did. I have it. And yes, I will be wearing it to maybe basketball, maybe baseball games, not football games, because that's a different story that we can talk about at some other point. But today, let's talk a little bit about that dark curry colorway of the Nike Dunk Low. Outfitted entirely in leather, the base is painted in dark curry and overlaid by white panels across the toe box, lacing system, and collar. A complimentary swoosh shoots through the lateral in medial sidewalls, and just like the OG from a quarter of a century ago, you'll find additional Nike branding stitched on the tongue tag and heel badge. The shoe then rests on a white midsole and dark curry outsole, while matching laces tie the sneaker together for a clean finish. Now, when it comes to fit, my foot's about a 9.25, but that shoe size does not exist. So depending on the brand and depending on the silhouette, I either go down to a size nine, hope that fits or remove the insole, or go up to a nine and a half, hope that fits or put in a third party insole. When it comes to dunks, I tend to find about a size nine fits just fine, especially because it doesn't have a whole lot of lockdown in the midfoot and I can have some wiggle room in the toe box. So of course, in this shoe size, I did get the men's size nine, which is to me true to size. And I would say this dunk low fits just like any other dunk low I've worn. So I feel comfortable in saying whatever size you get in dunk lows, well, go ahead and get that size in this silhouette and colorway. And when it comes to comfort, this shoe is every bit as comfortable or uncomfortable as every other dunk low that precedes it. I don't find them terribly comfortable, which is why I usually put in a third party insole. If I'm going to be on my foot for longer than six to eight hours, that's definitely the way to go. And if you're going to be on your foot all day, going to be walking from your car in the parking lot, in the parking garage, all the way to a stadium or a field, and you're going to go up and down all kinds of ramps and stairs, well, you definitely don't want to get too much foot fatigue, especially as you got to cheer on for a few hours. So I say you can wear this shoe just fine. For me, third-party insoles, the way to go. It's comfortable. It's uncomfortable. However you want to say it, it's, it is what it is. That's just the way these Nike Dunk Lows are. Now, this shoe does come with a second set of laces, a white set of flat laces that, while not matching the tongue, does match the eye stays. Uh, but for me, I think in this case, the matching colored dark curry laces are the way to go. You can definitely switch them out, especially if they're a summer shoe or a spring shoe. But for me, I'm going, well, OG. And as I mentioned earlier, you can see that, well, my hoodie doesn't exactly match this orange on there. And that's okay, because guess what? It also doesn't match the hat. If you look at the way things are right now, well, all of this just does not match. That's three different shades of burnt orange. And as I mentioned, that's just, that's the way it is. You can look at this thing. Does that match? Well, kind of, but I can tell you it's closer, but it's not exact. So I will say, if you're a UT fan out there and you're looking to pick up the shoe and put together the most matching fit of burnt orange fits, you will be disappointed. However, <clears throat> putting this on your feet, separated by pants, a dress, uh, shorts, a skirt, however you wanna put it, I think you'll get enough space between for your bra eyes and your brain to get a little confused and put everything together. But if you've ever been to any sort of UT sporting event, <clears throat> well, you'll notice that there's just, again, hundreds of different shades of burnt orange, but look from afar, 
it's a big sea of burnt orange. So I would say this is a good shoe if you are looking to put together a UT fit, just be remembering that it's not going to match everything you have because again, there are too many different shades of burnt orange out there. Now this dark curry colorway did release on January 12th, 2023, retailing for 135 US American dollars. And depending on when you are viewing this, you may still be able to find this shoe online or in store at your favorite boutique. I imagine if you are in the greater Austin, Texas area, it might be harder to find, especially if you are a UT fan trying to pick this up. And I follow a number of UT fan accounts or people who support the Longhorns and whatever they do. And it was interesting to see how many people were excited about getting this shoe. People that I I've never seen post actual sneaker content uh, unless it was an official UT Longhorn collaboration. They had the Air Max, they had the Pegasus, uh, but this one is not a UT shoe, but people were like, oh, I have to get it. Oh, I'm excited. I got it. So you might be able to find it. You might not. Just depends on where you're at and uh, how the UT fandom is around where you are located. So there we go. My thoughts on the Nike Dunk Low Dark Curry. Yes, it is an iconic shoe that we can finally get in the Americas 25 years later for the first time. That's great. That's awesome. But for me, I'm definitely coming at it from a, this is going to be great for UT games or UT events or anything having to do with the Longhorns. So uh, love to talk about it in the comment section down below. Do you like this shoe? Did you have it originally? Do you care that it's out again? Does it even register to you how an iconic of a silhouette and colorway this is? Whatever. It's all good. We can talk about all of that in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill till the next episode.